kind of steep, dude. <laughs> it is. All right, let's do it. Three, two, one. Oh, oh shit. shit. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. 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 <laughs> Actually feeling pretty good. Yeah, I'm not too bad. Yeah. I mean, my knee's still a little tight, but I think we're okay. Which I know it's the day after we just had a mega mission, but um, looking at the forecast, which I'd looked at before this, um, it's like full green light on Abbey conditions in Idaho right now. And I just talked to Mally Noise. Um, you might remember from the uh, Timbinogos mission mm -hmm. yeah and she's been spending a ton of time in Idaho and she's saying that everyone's like sending all aspects right now and it's really good there um, so I kind of think we should just head there instead of trying to head back for any reason and I know it's like rush on out of here to hit the next line but these 50 lines aren't gonna ski themselves <laughs> so I think we gotta have to do that um, I don't think it's not a huge drive. I think we're like eight hours, maybe nine hours down to there. So maybe we take off a bit today and then get down there. We have a few things we got to source on the drive, mainly snowmobiles, because I don't know about you, but I don't quite feel like doing a 21, 21 mile ski tour. I think snowmobile sounds like a great thing. I agree. Yeah. We, I mean, I think we've proved we do enough suffer fests that we can't make every single line be a suffer fest so perhaps we uh we just use the snowmobiles because it's like a legit road that just is closed in the winter so there's definitely things like clutch things we got to figure out it's deep it's big there's like no beta generally back there other than you just gotta go so what do you think I think if the conditions are good, we should we should go. Yeah, take advantage of it. Yeah. We've been patient enough yeah. this whole season, yeah. and if it's good, let's go. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, Sweet. chop chop then. Chop chop. <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be camping again, by the way. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll be a camp session, so <laughs> should be good to have a dry tent before we go out there. So, fun little fact, driving over Galena Pass, and this behind me, this cliff there in this knoll, and this landing here was a road gap that I hit about 15 years ago. Um, so, uh, somewhere kind of up there, and then all the way across the road, and then down into here. It's about 90 feet from takeoff to knuckle, front flip. 360. That was back when I would do dumb stuff. Granted, everyone would probably think what I do now is pretty dumb too. And it's so stinking cold and I'm trying to heat up my feet next to this wood stove in my van before we're gonna go outside, but let's see how Cody's uh, doing. Buenos dias. It's not warm outside. It is. Not warm. It's not warm inside. Oh I mean, it's God. warmer in here, but yeah, come on in. Okay. Well, this is gonna be our first one. It's just you and I. No, no partner on this one for this season. Yeah, I mean, we done we done some traverses before. You know? <laughs> that's right. No one wants to join then. <laughs> that's right. We've done <laughs> traverses before. Oh, that's that's true. Yeah, nobody wants to do these. Uh, yeah, everyone else I know is kind of out of town. And this was so last minute, so it's just gonna be you and I going out there. Avalanche hazard is low, weather is good, it's cold. This is a south face, um, so we're not too worried about warming with the absolute cold. But reading deep into the Abbey report and talking to uh, Ben Vanderboss, the local avalanche forecaster, you know, we, I think we still have to be on our toes a little bit just because. A uh, big remote peak that, you know, it's hard to forecast for though. They forecast generally for a general region, whereas when we're going for like an objective, a south face, 
something out in the white clouds that's remote as opposed to their main forecasting zone, even though they do forecast for here. Um, we'll we'll want to evaluate, not just be like, cool, what's that? So, so tonight we'll sled to the wilderness and then tour from there, set up camp, and then tomorrow go from camp to the base of Castle Peak and uh, evaluate. We climb and ski it and tour back to camp, break down camp, get back in the snowmobiles and come back. You mean today we snowmobile out there? Yeah, today. All right. This morning. And what's what's the name of the peak again? Castle Peak. Castle Peak. <laughs> I, did, I did do a list last night so I could check oh, wow. through it. Yeah. Okay. Because, you know, last time I forgot my jacket, so now the first thing on the list is jacket. jacket. Do you mean uh, a yellow jacket? Yellow jacket. <laughs> Jello jacket. <laughs> Essentially, Castle is on the other side of this ridge. I think we're camped somewhere around here. Um, we'll try and figure that out, but done about 10 miles on the sleds, and then we got about one ridge, five miles to the base of Castle, and then it's uh, about 2,500 foot couloir up to the summit, uh, which is just over 11,000. So, yeah. I mean, we have the sled, so maybe we can go as close as we can and then take a new decision from yeah. there and see. Maybe, maybe we can see more from there. I definitely think we should set up camp and then maybe just go for a ski tour and a snow check. And at yeah, least get our, get our eyes on, on Castle. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to get our eyes on the actual peak before we go to bed for sure. Yeah, I agree. So we're here, 4th of July Lake. Castle's here. Get this ridge in between us. I think if we get down to here, camp there, and go for a sunset ski tour right up there, and eh, go from there. This is all turning out to be a little bit shorter than I expected. I kind of feel like let's maybe just, we want to get our eyes on the face. So if we go up and over this ridge, we'll at least be able to look at the mountain. And then I'm gonna, I feel like we're gonna have two decisions, whether we, you know, take it easy and camp out here tonight, like all the beta told us. But I also think it's not super far and we maybe make the call to just, all right, let's go hit it. I mean, we've got, we've got eight hours before sunset. If we're at the sled at dark, we'll get out of here easy. Yeah, I feel like how 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 far is it in terms of vert from here to the summit? It's only like five grand. Yeah, less than that. I think I think that I thought this was like two thousand is like a thousand, so it's like thirty five hundred. We do have a few miles to go down the basin. Yeah. So I think if we just go up there, let's get our packs prepared, like as if we could go to it. Let's go up over this ridge, get our eyes on the face, and then go from there. Yeah, because if it's straightforward, it's it's gonna be pretty quick up and down. I agree. To be honest, but we don't know that before we look. Yeah, totally. So, and we still want to look, so. Yeah, cool. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. All right. And then, let's, so let's not set up camp. Let's, we'll set up camp if we decide we to come camp. back. Yeah, yeah. Cool. but we bring our stuff as we are prepared to actually do the peak right now. Yeah, exactly. Just in case. Yeah. Okay, cool. Perfect. Yeah, I like that. Just leaving where our camp is possibly going to be. Heading up to go get a scout. Gotta pass by this ridge line. But I'm really torn right now. I kind of want to just punch it out, get this thing over with, since conditions are good and beta made it seem like it was a two day thing, but it can easily be done in one. Yet, I do really like winter camping. I like the relaxed mode of not having to push it and just enjoying it out here. So we'll see. I'm about to take my eyes on Castle for the first time ever. Oh, thick beauty. Castle Peak, y'all. Right out there. That's Bjarne, he's fine with the drone. 
And just so everybody knows, where I'm standing, this ridgeline, from here over, it's wilderness, from here over is not. Therefore, him flying over there, drone use is fine. Him coming to this ridgeline, stepping 20 feet down, taking off in the wilderness, not fine. That's busted. So that's what all the Forest Service, Rangers, everyone's told me, so do the same. It is 1210. We're gonna drop a thousand feet and it's about a 2,500 foot boot pack up to the top. Ski back down, get back to here. Can we do that in six and a half hours? I mean, if everything goes smoothly, yeah. uh, I think we are really slow if we don't do that. Yeah, oh. shoot behind it. Three skiers. No, I thought they were too. They haven't moved in like, since I've been here. Oh. But the other thing, it's south facing. It's not warming up. Like No, I feel it. The wind is also kind of cold. The wind is cold yeah. and it just picked up. It was kind of warm. It's, there's just enough breeze. All right. Like it's still the air tap is cold. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I kind of am like, we're here. I have food, I brought enough water, I brought enough clothes, yeah. brought a headlamp if we're getting out in the dark. Let's uh, rip our skins and see down. If you just saw those uh, drone shots, that right behind me, those aren't the lines. The lines are actually around the corner, the south face, not the southeast face. So, yeah, that's just me. I just don't know these lines very well. <laughs> I'm from Sweden. <laughs> going out there, right? Now we're getting corner. Fuck. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of going with the flow. Yeah, totally. You're like, ah, sick mountain, sick shot. That's not where we're skiing, Bjarne. That little top surface looks good. Line challenge. Skin's on. Yeah, I like it. Let's go. Yeah, oh boy. It's kind of steep, dude. <laughs> it is. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, dear. Oh, God. It might be worth buckling up. <laughs> no, you can't buckle up for straight line skin on challenge. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, it's. You're not allowed to do anything except for just point it. Yeah, you go first. <laughs> no, we're going together. <laughs> really? Are you sure we want to drop here, too? Like this foot? Is this a cliff? Oh, I don't know. Oh, this did. Three, two, one! Oh, oh shit. shit! Oh god! Oh! 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 <laughs> oh my god! That transition was <laughs> terrible! Oh wow, well, what are you thinking? I am not thinking anymore because I'm skinny. Well, a lot of unexpected things so far. Namely that uh, we're actually about three quarters of the way up Castle and I thought we were gonna have to camp. And it's only like two o'clock. And we also skinned like three quarters of the way up. We're just switching to, to, to the boot pack and I think this episode is gonna be called Bad Beta because uh, whatever beta I read was wrong. <laughs> Bad Beta. <laughs> We're not there, so I don't want to say too much, but moving overnight for this. Yeah, every trip report I've read was did an overnight. Really? Yeah. Almost there. That's what you do. Nothing like eating lunch on a summit. Hence why I named my summit production company Summit Lunch Productions. <laughs> I like it. Because it's like my favorite thing to do. Kind of crazy that there's no wind. Huh? Yeah. I know it's very Don't bad to it. talk about. Yeah, the wind. never, never say that. Oh, I can hear it already. 
He's coming. I'm glad that my my sandwich is looking good. <sighs> Look at that. Oh my god. Better than your peanut butter and mustard sandwich. <laughs> that was funny. Hey, I'm so what sorry. What is that out there? <laughs> well, th you have to also know that this is my lunch in here. And it has mustard in that sandwich. And they got kind of stuck together. This is peanut butter and jelly because we're in America. <laughs> but but it had a lot of mustard on it, so it's a lot of mustard, <laughs> peanut butter, and gel, and it tastes disgusting it together. And that actually it wasn't funny. It tasted like shit. There's a lot of mountains in Idaho. It's actually like crazy how much mountains there are. Airplane. Yeah, I hate that. I hate that. Every time. Yeah. Hey, I was thinking on the way up. You want to go to Portland of this? Mm -hmm. Yeah, my sandwich is really good. How do you have on yours? Salami, mayonnaise, mustard, and and cheese. Swiss. Swiss cheese. Yeah. Sweet. You Salami and Swiss, I like. Yeah, I was so spoiled living in Germany in France for so many years. Yeah. The cheese. You, know, you can't find that here, though. No. The one thing I argue, though, American coffee has surpassed all but Italian espresso. Italian espresso at the right place can be really, really good. Slow drips, pour overs, no, all these other things, no. which you can get such different flavor out of coffee. Yeah, but they think you're an idiot if you ask for that. I know, well, they're fucking idiots. <laughs> Gave his mom this coffee, she goes, is this a coffee? Is this everything? No, I need I need a big one, and just get it back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should probably get, get moving. I my whole move out of the way. Okay, last step is putting our skins back on and going over and how do I, it's so hard to do this, that ridge, I was like, that ridge, yes. 440, we're at the bottom of the South Basic Castle, now we got a couple miles, thousand vert to hike to get out of here, ski back down and get to our sled. We got like 200 feet right there. We're back to the slides. And then we ended up doing this in a day. Yeah. But we packed like we we're gonna be out for like a week. That's one of the night out there. It's been a night in the Rams. I know I said it's bad beta, but I'm gonna say it's probably bad interpretation of beta. <laughs> like I'm not gonna put it on other people. But everything I read, it was like everyone was camping out there. I was like, alright, that's what we gotta do. 
Cheers to number 32. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's been a slow start. Now I got two in a week. Keep the momentum rolling.